Hello everybody, welcome back to DwayneCotton.com and Dwayne Cotton YouTube channel. Today is a very short video, but I want to talk about the trades industry. We have over 6 million trades jobs that are unfilled right now in the country. Now it's a big deal. Now I don't just talk about the trades industry. Uh, I've actually worked in the trade. I'm a, I'm a 30 year veteran in the HVAC trades industry. Uh, now I'm into building trades, build America construction. So now I'm not technically, well, I guess I'm still a tradesman, but I deal with multiple tradesmen, plumbers, electricians, heating and air, electrical, framers, roofers. I deal with a lot of different people. Um, and what I'm finding is that we have this huge shortage in our area, in the Mid-Atlantic region. I mean, it's all over the country, but I can tell you right here, it's bad. And one of the things I want to just show you with the backdrop, I'm actually having some work done at my house. Yesterday I had a couple videos that I did from here. One was uh, called The Dirt, talking about the craziness that you, uh, you see and hear in the, in the media and the news. And, and, and there again, you're, you're, you're taught, I think, over the years and, and sort of the underlying fabric that if you work with your hands, you're somehow uh, you know, dumb and that's the only thing you could do. When in fact that people that criticize tradesmen, they do so from a building built by and given to them by tradesmen, right? Standing on a podium built by a tradesman in a building with lights, heating and air, plumbing by tradesmen. So it's kind of ironic without us, there wouldn't be the platform for them. And so basically the trades industry is something that if you work hard, you apply every single bit of training that you can get. You self-train, like I talked about yesterday, YouTube, uh, Google, just those two places will teach you a lot about life um, and, and just of course other means you need to look you, you need to seek out people that have actually done this like myself and try to learn a little tidbit here and there and build to what you uh, what you're working for learn a trade become a skilled tradesperson okay learn it have good have a big work ethic want to work hard uh, eat drink breathe the stuff make it part of your life and you can become a millionaire in the trades industry uh, easier than you think a lot easier than you think so behind me you will see the wag the kids wagon here my American flag I have flags on the sheds the house everywhere I love my country and this job here what we're doing here is we're adding a drain system uh, so the gutters can wash the water underneath the, the patio and, and and out to the uh, drainage ditch uh, so this right here not a big deal, not a real hard job, takes some common sense, but believe it or not, some people can't drive an excavator, and driving an excavator is not as easy as you think. It's actually a skill, and there's, there again, it's part of the skilled trades. Uh, you think, well, someone digs a hole for a living. Well, go try it yourself and see how hard it is. It actually takes uh, a lot of practice to be good at it. And so learning any trade out there, any trade, you know, it's beneficial, but I can tell you that if it's a skilled trade, you can, to some point, write your own paycheck. That's it. I'm out for today, and you guys have a good one.